Triple E EDC back again with another night video. This is the Benchmade Altitude. Uh, this is a fixed blade with a bolter on sheath. Uh, this is going to be a first impressions video. Um, I It is a uh, knife from the Hunt series and therefore it is meant for hunting, outdoor st stuff, camping, uh, hiking, things like that. So uh, you know, I uh, I don't go hunting really ever. Um, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that up front. Uh, but that being said, I do go backpacking. I do um, hiking. I do uh, uh, I go camping, and I I generally use fixed blades um, more than the average knife uh, person who just really is into folders, and more than many people who who are really into fixed blades uh, uh, as well. Um, although you know, there's plenty of people who do a lot more bushcrafty type of stuff than I do. That's sort of a little background for you uh, in case you're watching the channel for the first time. Um, uh, as far as what you should know about um, uh, about me uh, before I get into the review so that you can understand where my perspective is coming from. So uh, again, this is going to be a, a first impressions video. Um, I, I don't want to wait until I get that use out of the knife in order to do the review because two reasons. One is um, uh, that I think it's, it is important uh, this knife get a first impressions because there's not a lot of videos of it on YouTube. Uh, and also, I think it's important because this knife, uh, the black version of it has been discontinued. The orange version of it uh, is, and, and all it is, uh, the orange version is, uh, I believe the carbon fiber and the um, pivot rings are the same, but the knife uh, has an orange coating instead of a black one, uh, which is probably better for visibility in the woods. But, uh, but in any event, the black one's been discontinued, and therefore it is uh, available on Blade HQ and maybe some other re retailers as well uh, for about $150 right now instead of the normal $200 price. Uh, and we'll get to the price in, in, in a few minutes um, as to whether I think it's worth it, uh, but I wanted you to be aware of that is the reason I'm bringing it to you at this point. Uh, so I haven't had much use with this knife yet. I've uh, used it to you know, cut a couple things uh, here and there around the house, but I really did just get it today. Uh, so this is a true first impressions. Um, the interesting thing about this, let me tell you the experience of opening the box. Uh, so it comes in the box like this. Uh, it comes in a Hunt Series box, the large fixed blade boxes that are like this big. So you open it up and you see this sort of tiny little knife in there. And that, that sort of gives you, it's sort of an omen of what's to come. Um, and uh, so let's do a couple size comparisons uh, with this. So first of all, let's do the Paramilitary 2 and the Para 3. So you can see it is not a huge knife. It's uh, it's about the same, it's, a, it's about a little larger than the uh, Para 3, very slightly larger than the Para 3, uh, and um, very uh, fairly smaller than the Paramilitary 2. Let's put it up next to a Benchmade Griptilian. You can see it's, a, it's smaller than the Griptilian, and... We don't need to do too many of these uh, size comparisons. Let's do it against the 940. And the Benchmade Bug Out. Now, I think this is really what tells the story here, is that it is smaller than the Benchmade Bug Out. It is smaller than the Benchmade 940. So it really is, even though it's a fixed blade, it's a small knife. Um, now, uh, first of all, uh, what what do I think is great about, uh, good about this knife? I've got... I'll tell you right off the bat, I do think that the sheath, this Bolteron sheath is fairly nice. It has a Benchmade logo. Uh, it is Bolteron, not plastic. Um, Bolteron, uh, from what my understanding, is uh, is sort of, a, it's a little bit like Kydex. So this is Kydex. This is my Bradford Guardian. Let's see if you can see some of the difference differences here. So it, it's a very similar looking texture. I think the Bolteron is more heat resistant, um, whereas the uh, the Kydex is very, um, it's not as heat resistant, uh, but Kydex, um, definitely, you know, becomes stiff just like this. The Bolteron feels stiffer, I will say. Uh, for anyone who's wondering, this is my Bradford Guardian 3 Warney. But, again, Bolteron sheath, uh, I think it's a pretty good choice, uh, for the sheath. Very, very thin sheath, um, easy, easy to work with. Uh, plenty of lashing points uh, if you want to carry it. Um, if you want to carry it on on the strap of a backpack, if you want to carry it, um, 
you know, uh, in your waistband like this. If you want to carry it in a pocket, it'll fit in a pocket. If you want to carry it on a neck knife, as a neck knife, you have the holes to carry it as a neck knife. So sheath is pretty good. I do like the sheath. Uh, another thing I really like about this knife is the steel choice. So the steel choice on this knife is S90V. And you guys who know me know that I really do enjoy S90V. Uh, it is one of my favorite steels. Um, it is, it has great edge retention, uh, and it just is an excellent steel. My, uh, my Manix that I, I had several Manixes. Um, the Manix that I kept, uh, is S90V. The Shaman, I have an S90V. Uh, I have, uh, I, I've owned it at uh, various points, the 940-1, which is S90V, um, and... I've got this 940, which is S90V, the newer one with in titanium. Um, I, I, I enjoy S90V. I really do. Uh, and so I think it's an excellent choice uh, for this. It keeps an edge for a long time. It's stainless. Uh, for, and it uh, it's not as much of a pain as some other steels to sharpen, although it is, you know, it's not the easiest steel to sharpen. I will say that. But it's an excellent steel choice. And the reason it's an excellent steel choice is because it will keep an edge long enough so that when you go on a you know on a longer hunt or a, a longer backpacking trip it's going to keep that edge a lot longer uh, now if you're on a you know um trail up you know a hike up and down the appalachian trail or something you're probably you know this is a great knife to have with you but you're going to want something that also is maybe as a backup knife maybe like a bug out or something that is uh, a little easier to sharpen s30v is easier to sh easier to sharpen than S90V, unless you, you know, bring a diamond sharpener with you. Uh, if you're saving weight on this, why not? Uh, another thing that's really great about this knife that you notice right off the bat is just how light this thing is. I mean, this thing feels like air. It feels uh, lighter, if not, you know, it actually does. I will, I will say this. It actually does feel lighter than my bug out, uh, which is kind of shocking for a fixed blade. Um, now, I will say this... Uh, well, I'll get, to, uh, actually, I'll get to that now. Um, another great thing about it is the stock on this is really thin. This is the bug out right here. This is the altitude, really, really thin stock on this. Um, and that just means this thing is a slicing machine. I mean, I was, uh, I had very, very uh, um, flimsy paper. I was just shaving earlier and just, you know, I was, it's like a laser right through it. I mean, you know, you could, you pretty much just drop it right through and the weight of the knife itself will cut the paper, uh, which also means that it had a pretty good edge on it from the factory. Uh, it doesn't, it's not a hundred percent always the case from Benchmade, but this one had a pretty good edge on it right from the factory. And I definitely have to commend them for that. Um, another thing that's great on here is the jimping. Uh, so the jimping on here, I don't know if you can see, but there's jimping on the back right here. There is jimping on the bottom right here. There's jimping underneath the finger choil right here. And there is jimping right behind where, where your thumb would normally go like here. And then there is jimping up top here, uh, which is gonna give you a lot of control um, on when you're, when you're skinning. So like I said, this is a uh, hunt series. So it actually is made, these, these uh, I guess bolsters, uh, if you wanna call them that, or handle scales are made so that you can use a pinch grip on them and then put your finger where the jimping is. And this, this, um, and then you get traction right here on the back of, uh, on the back of here, you know, on your hand. So I'm telling you, uh, this thing is, gives you enormous control, uh, when you're, when you're trying to slice with it. This just gives you enormous control. Uh, this is probably one of the better, um, scalpel feeling can, knives I've had with control uh, in my hand ever in any type of um, any type of knife. I mean, you can get decent control from a lot of different types of knives, but uh, it, the combination of the of the grind, the very thin grind on here, the jimping here, the way these you know scales work with a pinch grip, and you can see it does have sort of indentations here where where your pinch should go. All these different things come, and also the fact that the, the handle has jimping here to sort of, you know, sneak into this spot and then stay there. This just gives you such good control. I mean, it feels like an extension of your finger. Just amazing. Really, really good design work 
by Benchmade. Now I will say I've, I haven't had a mini bug out in my hands, but the blade shape is basically, let's be honest, they probably looked at the bug out and said, hey, we can do that in a fixed blade. And they did, but this is probably more like the mini bug out because as you can see, the blade is actually a little shorter. You can see it's lined up. The blade's actually a little shorter than the bug out. Something to keep in mind. So I actually would have liked to see a blade the length of the um, of the bug out just for my use, but uh, I, I, I know they made it shorter specifically so they could get this grip to be absolutely perfect you know, where it's an extension of your finger, only so much sticking out, and uh, and that's what they did here. Uh, what don't I like about this knife? Well, so this knife is, well, as good as this knife is in this grip, it's, you know, it feels fine in this grip. It really does, it feels fine. And it'll work, because it's such a slicing machine, it'll work for short-term cutting tasks. But I can tell already that as thin as this is down here, my hand is going to start cramping up at some point uh, if I'm doing really long-term cutting tasks with this uh, and having to grip it down hard over time. So that's definitely a drawback to this design, uh, but it, I don't think that's what it's intended for. It's more intended for more long-term use with this grip, and then uh, you can use this grip when you need to. Um, I also uh, you know, definitely appreciate... Uh, you get your drain hole there uh, in the sheath uh, because this is going to be used obviously in, uh, hunting and it's also going to be used with um, uh, with food prep. And so, I, by the way, this is the type of knife uh, that I think you can keep with you and use for food prep pretty much whenever because, like I said, that grind is just, that nice thin grind is going to be really helpful. Um, there's a lanyard hole here. Uh, I don't think this thing needs a lanyard, to be honest. Uh, it's, for most of its uses, it really wouldn't serve any purpose but a decorative purpose. Uh, there's plenty of handle length. There's, um, if it's a neck knife, you know, it's gonna hang down long enough. Uh, I just, I don't really see a reason for the lanyard hole, but uh, I think it's a good choice for that they made it anyway, because some people will enjoy it, and it just further reduces the weight of the knife. So, uh, you know, definitely interesting. This is a fixed blade that's under two ounces, in case anyone was wondering. Um, yeah, so uh, th this actually is a first production. I just noticed that. I hadn't noticed that before. 609 out of 700. Um, so uh, definitely glad to have that. Uh, that's pretty much it for my first impressions. Um, who do I think this is for? I think this is for hunters. I think this is for backpackers. I think uh, this is for hike hikers and campers. Excellent choice for any of that. Uh, it's for someone who likes, you know, having something light, uh, you know, to carry around uh, in the kitchen. By the way, um, this does fit. So you know how in a, in a slacks pocket you have the little button in the middle, the little button in the middle. Uh, this fits in between the button and the pocket. So you, if you want to keep it in your back pocket, you can actually just shove it down there uh, and uh, without opening the button, leave it there and then just pull it out when you need it, which is great. Uh, so, you know, the, you can, uh, you can use the button as a makeshift, uh, you know, uh, push for the sheath, or you can, you know, just pull it against the side of the pocket and, and it comes right out. So, uh, definitely a little tip for you there, but it's, I think that's, uh, pretty much who it's for, um, you know, and, uh, it's not going to be for everyone, but I think this is a, a good purchase. It's going to be sticking around in my collection for a little bit and, uh, hopefully I'll get some good use out of it. And uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll go from there. I, I, I would, can't wait for a full review. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I definitely appreciate you tuning in. If you um, have an altitude, I'd love to hear your comments about it. If you're thinking about getting one, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Go ahead and uh, you drop a comment. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get all my content. Uh, and hit, go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much.